Hello my dark kitties and just like I promised I'm back with another review of The Beauty of Four. This is book two and we're gonna take a walk down this book. It is by Alan Robert. I have a video about the first one so you can check that one out and now we're gonna take a look at the second one. <laughs> Here is the cover of the second book of Beauty of Horror, book two, by Alan Robert. And this one is Guliana's Creep Creepatorium. Creepatorium. <laughs> a little bit of a tongue twister there. It's a very nice cover, very similar to the first one, black with red um, foil. And we got the title page, and on the inside it's also red, like the other one was, same pattern. We have the book belongs to page. And once again we're looking for uh, these pictures, the missing ingredients. Before it was parts, now it's ingredients. And we have very wonderful drawings, just like the first book. Continu continuing with our character. And this is a really nice one. Death at the Gates. We got some clowns. Some zombie heads and spikes. And you know, this one has less of the repeating pages I've noticed, which is nice. I think they uh, figured out people aren't fond of those. These are really nice. But it is still double sided, which means you still have to sacrifice a picture if you decide to use wet media with markers or something like that. If you stick with uh, prism colors or, you know, even just plain old ordinary crayons, you'd be alright. And the pages are nice and thick, just like the other one. But I still wouldn't recommend uh, anything really wet, like watercolors. A lot of the ones in this one has like a, a main subject and a um, frame. The other one wasn't like that. I like this one, the candy heads. But I do like that there are less repeating pattern type things. Oh, this is a nice one. Very ghoulish and perfect for Halloween. We're about a quarter of the way through and we come to our first repeating page. It's not a bad one. I just like that there are less of them. And these are nice. We've got a lot of zombie, skeletal kind of people in this one. And this one's nice, they're after the poor little werewolf. And again, like the first one, there are a lot of drawings in here. You cannot complain, you get your money's worth. Especially now, because the prices on coloring books have really come down if you've uh, not looked lately. This one's cute, I really like it. Hopefully someday I'll get the nerve to actually color in here. Another repeating page. Skulls. We have some poison bottles, which I plan to do a craft of that soon where I turn like pill, regular pill bottles and stuff into like 
bell bottles and ingredients for that sort of thing. Hopefully it goes well. Bat. There she has, there she is having a gruesome snack and some cupcakes that might eat you instead of you eat them. Vultures. I've never tried to draw a vulture. It looks like here you're supposed to draw your own picture. Or, I don't know, maybe somehow transfer this one into there. Oh, and here we got some gruesome looking fairies. We got some old tiny looking zombies or skeletons. Very nice. one's definitely put something in there of your own and this you use for your color palette like if you're going to use Prisma colors and you want to see what they look like you use this and create a uh, like a little table of color contents for yourself and here is the uh, key to the missing ingredients if you want to try and find them or if you can't find one and of course the end. And so there it is, The Beauty of Horror, book two, just as good as the first one. So I hope you enjoyed that walk through The Beauty of Horror, book number two. I enjoyed it, and one of these days I'm going to color it. And um, if you did enjoy it, please like this video and also subscribe to the channel because I am going to uh, review more coloring books. Not always horror ones, but for Halloween, they'll all be horror ones. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye. I always forget what I'm going to say.